Hi guys, welcome to Cannon Old Farm. Farmer Daryl here, and today we're going to go for a little look around the farm at some of our horses, but not them shires. Right then, guys, so here we are. You probably guessed it. Uh, total other end of the spectrum to Shire horse, uh, the Shetland ponies. Uh, the Shetland pony is technically the smallest horse. Uh, on the planet. There are genetically modified smaller variants, uh, but as far as pure breeds go, the Shetland Pony, hailing from the Shetland Islands in the north of Scotland, is the smallest horse breed. And unlike most horses, the Shetlands are not actually uh, measured in hands, they're just measured in inches, so it's a lot simpler. Uh, average height for a, a Shetland at the Withers, about 28 to 40 inches uh, in total. Now the Shetland Pony, as I said, comes from the Shetland Islands. It's a very harsh environment up there, so these little ponies have been knocking about on the island from at least the Bronze Age, and we know that uh, because there's been excavations up there and bones have been found that date back uh, to Bronze Age, Bronze Age periods. Now the Shetland is thought to have derived from early settlers, possibly the Norse uh, people, Vikings, etc., uh, would have brought them to the islands. But they've also got a bit of Southern European pony in them as well, mixed with that of an old ancient Celtic breed. So their, their, their roots are really embedded uh, in the history of those islands. And up on the islands, food is scarce, so these little fellas uh, can survive on not much at all. And they're quite uh, ingenious and inventive because they, they learn to, uh, to forage on seaweed as well. Being an island, washed ashore, plenty of seaweed. Now the fisher people uh, up on the island, the humans, uh, use these little ponies uh, to carry peat and carry seaweed as well. Peat was used as fuel but also as building material. And up there in the Shetland Isles as well, the fishermen and women actually use the, uh, the ponies tail hair uh, to make fishing nets. So they were domesticated quite early on and became of good use. And moving forward through time, mining became a huge industry, especially in our part of the world, in, in, in Yorkshire. So these little ponies were exported from the island onto mainland Britain and used down the mines. And the main reason they were called upon to use, uh, to, to use in the mines, they're very, very strong. Despite their diminutive size and nature, they're very strong and hardy animals. Now, they used to use boys and girls, believe it or not, right up to 1847, and the government stopped boys and girls going down the mine. So unfortunately, you might say, these little fellas uh, replace, replace boys and girls down the mine. Uh, fortunately, uh, they're no longer used uh, in the mines, but as late as 1970 in America, they were still used in mines. Uh, and these, were, again, were exported animals over to the state. So they've come in very handy, and uh, they're now used mainly for uh, breeding purposes to keep the breed true, but also as well, they can be used to drive little carts and also starter ponies uh, for young people as well. Right then, so uh, that's a bit about the history of the Shetland ponies, but currently at Cannon Hall Farm, we've got five breeding mares and one stallion. Now, four of the mares, uh, as you can see, are right behind me. And the stallion, I'm pretty sure most of you farm fans will have seen uh, our stallion. That's John Bond's pony, of course, good looking lad. He's currently residing in one of the barns up there at the minute. The idea behind that is uh, the, the more away from his lady friends he is, the keener he is when he meets back up with him. So uh, that's what we're hoping for. Right then guys, so I do hope you've been listening because as always, I'm gonna ask you the three questions. And our three questions uh, for the Shetlands today. Firstly, uh, how do we measure a Shetland pony? It's different to how we measure all the other horses. So bear that in mind. Uh, secondly, in our part of the world, Yorkshire, what industry did these little guys work in? And thirdly, what part of the Shetlands body uh, is used to make fishing nets up in the Shetland Isles. Thanks for joining us. If you've uh, enjoyed what you see, then like and share as always. And don't forget kids, please send us some nice pictures of our ponies as always. Until next time, see you later.